Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome back. And let's kind of recap. We got Senor Kermit here. You walk over, you pick up the pistol, cool. Goes on his hip, pick up the MP5, goes to your back, pick up the AK, it goes to your back. You hit view, you change your view to first person view. And yay, it works. Alright, so we need to go ahead and do a couple things to get start getting set up. And one of the things we want to do is go into player underscore base. And we're going to want to create two variables. First one is going to be pistol underscore equipped. Okay, and since we've got that, we need to do rifle underscore equipped. And let's go ahead and put both of these in the weapons category since that's what they are. Again, just to keep things clean and what we're going to do for right now is start getting set up to actually equip the weapon in our hands and change the animation blueprint over. So, let's go ahead and get rifle equipped. Hold down Alt, left click, drag, drop, and there you go, you got your set node. So, now when we pick up the MP5, we're going to set rifle equipped. Now, the next thing we want to do is go into, and let's just get set up example wise, we're going to double click on MP5 picked, or MP5 picked up, or whatever we call your function there, and instead of going to slot one, I'm going to change this over to go into the main hand. So main under, underscore hand is what I called mine. So we're going to do that. Going to compile and we're going to save. And let's test it out real quick. So if I go over the AK, it still goes to my back. If I go over the pistol, it goes to my, my hip. But you see the MP5 is now in my hands. I look down. Yay, I can see it. So it works, it goes into our hand, it's not a big deal. Um, what we need to do now is change the animation from the unarmed animation that we have currently to our new animation for carrying a pistol, or carrying a submachine gun, or in this case, carrying a rifle. So I'm going to go ahead and do save all. We look at our animations, rifle underscore hip underscore animation BP. This is the name of our animation that we want to change over to. And that's great, but we also need to fix one thing. If we go into that animation blueprint and we look at the way we've got everything set up in our state machine, we don't have jump set up just yet, so that's something we're going to have to address at some point but we look into our event graph and all we set up initially was speed. We have the direction variable but we don't have the um, the yeah we have speed but we don't have direction. So I'm gonna drag this over here and get this just a little bit farther open. Now try get pawn owner that's good we do need that. Actually let's just keep it relatively closed, try to keep everything relatively neat because you know neatness is very important right alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the stuff that we need for direction now what do we need? we already got velocity here so let me go ahead and get paused and get set up and we'll be ready to rock and roll okay sorry about that um, what we're going to want to do is come in here off of the try get pawn owner and from here we want to get actor rotation okay and then from the is valid node we want to calculate direction yeah see all these you know the the quotation things everything is going to start getting ugly here so just kind of work with it, see what we can do here. We need to take the return value from get actor rotation and bring that up to here. Now, we had velocity already, and 
it's all the way over here. So that's going to be kind of screwy. Because we need our velocity. So I'm just going to have to try to stretch things around. Let's go ahead and I want to get rid of that. That's just going to be a waste of time and, and space there. We're also going to be um, setting our direction over here as well. But we did need our, our set speed. That, that's going to stay the same. Uh, but we can get our velocity from the return value of that of get velocity. And we can take these and just kind of move them around, try to make this look a little bit neater. I don't need that annotation there either. So I'm just, right now, all I'm doing is cleaning it up a little bit. Get our actor rotation. Get our velocity. Getting our vector length. Okay. Our velocity is good to go. Getting our movement component. We're just going to drag it over here. And we're going to drag our is falling over here. And then we're going to drag these guys way back over here. Again, this is just cleanup work. But now that we've got those things set up, we've got our speed and direction set, so that'll be good to go. And it was just something we needed to do to get this this animation blueprint finished. And then we can use this as a basis for our other animation blueprints we're going to have to create later. So, to recap again where we are, we have Kermit here, grab the pistol, goes on the hip. Grab the MP5, goes to our hand. Grab the AKM, it goes to our back. So, now, how do we start changing that animation blueprint? Eh, that's the next fun. The habit is to go back to the third person blueprint. I always keep wanting to go there, even though I know that player base is what we're actually using for our player. So, we are done with using that portion and we already have when we pick it up we've set rifle equipped so I guess what we're gonna have to do is and we'll go ahead and try this if it doesn't work then we'll try something different and then we'll go from there we're gonna create a huh let's just try it as a custom event so we're gonna add custom event um, let's go with the name for it as Rifle Animation Swap. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see what we're doing a little bit here. Alright, so with Rifle Animation Swap as the custom event, what we need to do is we're going to Alt, left click, drag and drop. No, sorry. Control. We want to get a check and we're going to run a branch. So, again, hold down the B key and left click on your, your event graph and it'll place a branch node for you. So, what we need to do is we need to check to see if rifle is equipped. If the answer is true is where we need to go and here's where it's going to be interesting we're going to then tell it to switch the animation and that's going to be where again, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video instead of me just screwing around and trying to get it to work. I'll go ahead and get it to work, and then I'll come back in and I'll show you what I did. Since, you know, I am doing these things on the fly. Alright, sorry about that. Let's pick up where we left off here. And what I was doing with the custom event, go ahead and delete that. 
Um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our event tick and our sequence and we're going to start dragging it down a little bit. Just I'm going to scroll out just so I can look at it. And since we're going to have a bunch of stuff in here, I'm just bringing it down just to help cosmetically. So we're going to go ahead and need another pin. So you click on the add pin and we need a branch. So let's create a branch node. Try to line that up and we're going to go ahead and get our rifle equipped. So with that node attached to the branch and we'll connect the branch up to our sequencer we're going to change the animation class and from true come out of here and if you type in class there's a bunch of stuff in here but we want to and I can't remember the name of it so let's try it again with but it is a class and we're in a set mode set animation instance class for the mesh so I'm just going to move it around a little bit so it looks halfway decent because you know you got to be beautiful right and then from there in the new class we want to select rifle underscore hip underscore anim BP so now what it's going to do is whenever it detects that we now have a rifle equipped it's going to change our animation mode and let's go ahead and compile save and let's test it out real quick. So we know we grab the pistol, nothing happens, we still stay in that mode. Grab the AK, it goes directly to our back. Grab the MP5, and look, it is now in our hands, and we're using our animation blueprint for. And it's still somewhat working for jump mode not perfect but it works we'll, we'll actually get it working correctly but we now have the animation set up for hey we have a gun in our hand we have a rifle so we would do the same thing for a pistol once we get that set up but as you can see by picking up the mp5 it has forced us to go into our hand and it forced us to go into that so that's a great start for getting us towards our animation switching. So, technically speaking, you know, we'll end up doing the same thing. I'm going to leave this open for now. And since we currently have it set up to automatically put the MP5 in our hands, that's okay. We can do that for now. But what we'll do is we'll start setting up the weapon switching from category you know from hitting one and two on our keyboard and then three for the pistol so let's go ahead and close that blueprint back up for now and let's go to edit project settings and then scroll down to where we can find our input our action mapping and we're going to go set up three keys the first one being we're going to call it primary weapon and that's going to be by hitting the number one key on the keyboard so now anytime we hit the number one key on our keyboard it'll switch to our primary weapon and the next one will be secondary weapon and we're going to go to keyboard with that as well number two and then this is going to be Pistol. Uh, we need to call it something a little bit more unique. Uh, we'll call this our handgun hold. And we'll make that the number three on the keyboard. And 
that's it. Um, our numbers are, are set up now to where we go between 1, 2, and 3, and it will allow us to start switching our weapons back and forth. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get ready to close this video down. And how we're going to get that set up is we're going to set up the events for 1, 2, and 3. And essentially what we need to do is look at what we have. And in this instance, since we only have three guns to begin with, we have a pistol. Uh, we need to go ahead in the next video and set up the pistol animations and the animation blueprint and the blend space and get it correctly set up. And then we need to get it to where when we pick up the pistol, we'll, like we did on the set rifle equipped, we'll go ahead and do set pistol equipped and we'll take this variable off for now and we'll do the testing with it as in okay it's going to automatically put the pistol in our hand and automatically change over to the animation and then we can start doing the switch to get ready for switching between weapon one two and three sound good good all right awesome and Thank you for watching this video. Sorry it's a little bit drawn out. Sorry I had to break it up a few times. But I wanted to make sure I was getting everything correct to get us eased into the next portion of it. Alright, thank you for watching. We'll see you next